it's really worth seeing. Page 72, Exercise 2, Perspectives The Empire State Building Part B Now listen and check your answers. What information is the most surprising? Okay, folks, here we are in the Empire State Building. The history of the Empire State Building is filled with many interesting facts and figures. It was designed by American architect William Lamb to become the tallest building in the world. Construction began in March 1930, and by October of that same year, 88 floors were already finished. In 1931, after 14 months and $25 million, the building's 102 floors were officially opened by U.S. President Herbert Hoover. In 1964, colored lights were added to the top by the building's owners. The colors change almost every night. While it's no longer the world's tallest building, it is still seen as, as a symbol, a symbol, of, a symbol of, of New York City. And people from, 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 people from, 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 the passive changes the focus of a sentence. For the simple past, use the past of be plus past participle. Active. The president opened the building in 1931. Passive. It was opened by the president in 1931. Active. An American architect designed the building. Passive. It was designed by an American architect. Active. In 1964, the building's owners added colored lights to the top. Passive. Colored lights were added to the top by the building's owners in 1964. Four, exercise 5. Pronunciation. The letter O. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice how the letter O is pronounced in the following words. Ah. Not. Top. O. No. Don't. O. Do. Food. A. Uh. One. Love. Exercise 5, Part B. How is the letter O pronounced in these words? Write them in the correct column in Part A. Then listen and check your answers. Come. Done. Lock. Own. Shot. Soon. Who. Wrote. Exercise 6. Listening. Who built them? Listen to three tour guides describe some very old monuments. Take notes to answer the questions below. Then compare with a partner. 1. The pyramids. Who built them? Why were they built? The pyramids were built more than 4,000 years ago by the Egyptians. The most famous ones are on the west bank of the river Nile, outside of Cairo. They were built as burial places for the Egyptian kings. After a king's death, 
His body was turned into what is called a mummy. This preserved it. The king's mummy was placed inside the pyramid along with treasures. 2. Machu Picchu. How big is the city? When was it discovered? Machu Picchu is an Inca city in Peru. Construction of the city started in 1450. The ruins are about 2,400 meters above sea level. The city covers about 13 square kilometers. For centuries, the city was buried in the jungle and wasn't discovered again until 1911. Today, Machu Picchu is one of the most famous tourist attractions in all of South America. 3. The Great Wall of China. Why was it built? How long is it? The Great Wall of China is the longest structure ever built. It was built to protect one of the Chinese kingdoms. Much of what exists of the wall today was built during the Ming Dynasty in the late 1400s, although some parts of the wall are much older. The wall is about 11 meters high, and a stone roadway runs along the top of it. The main part of the wall stretches for about 3,400 kilometers. 8. Exercise 8. Conversation. I need some information. Part A. Listen and practice. Hello? Oh, hello. I need some information. What currency is used in the European Union? Where? The European Union? I think the euro is used in most of Europe. Oh, right. And is English spoken much there? I really have no idea. Huh. Well, what about credit cards? Are they accepted everywhere? How would I know? Well, you're a travel agent, aren't you? What? This is a hair salon. You have the wrong number. Five, exercise nine, grammar focus. Passive without by, simple present. For the simple present, use the present of be plus past participle. Active. They use the euro in most of Europe. Passive. The euro is used in most of Europe. Active. They speak English in many European countries. Passive. English is spoken in many European countries. Active. They manufacture a lot of cars in Europe. Passive. A lot of cars are manufactured in Europe. Size 10. Listening. Colombia. Part A. Listen to a short talk about Colombia. Complete the chart. Colombia is located in the northwestern part of South America and is the fourth largest country in South America. It has coastlines on both the Atlantic and the Pacific Oceans. It has a population of around 45 million. And is a very beautiful country with snow capped mountains as well as hot lowland plains. The capital city is Bogota. Spanish is spoken by nearly all Colombians, and it is the country's official language. Many religions are practiced, but the religion of the majority of the population is Roman Catholic. Some of the most important industries are textiles and clothing, other industries include mining and oil. Agriculture is the most important section of the economy, and Colombia's main agricultural products are coffee, flowers, sugar, bananas, rice, corn, and cotton. 
The coffee that is grown and exported is delicious. In fact, Colombia produces more coffee than any other country except Brazil and Vietnam.